I think it's better than yesterday. Better than yesterday? Yes. What makes it better than yesterday? Uh, at least I knew what yesterday could bring. Mm. Today I don't. So. Yes. Oh, yesterday morning you knew what the day will bring? No, like I said, it's gone and then I knew what the day brought. Okay. This morning I don't, but I'm alive. Mm -hmm. Here at Star FM, answering questions for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay so so i guess i guess we can begin with the with how with how things are running it's been it's been nine months already in this year 2021 yes. last year was uniquely different covid changed everything yeah but what's been the um recovery plan for the nss uh after the covid of 2020 well, especially on me, national service good morning to uh both our viewers and mm. our listeners, listeners. Uh, it, it, it's been I think for us, it's, we've not had a lot of change apart from maybe changing our timing. Mm. So, for us, somewhere 2018, we started looking at more of digitizing the systems and mm -hmm. putting the systems in place where the National Service personnel can easily be able to have any access to the processes without really walking in and can do it by just a tap on the phone or any digital platform. Mm. So, we had had processes like getting them to book appointments before they go to register we've had sending their national service certificates to them via career services mm -hmm. so they don't even come crowding at our various places and so when covid came all we had to do was to just shuffle them and say these people go like a month these guys would go the other month and <coughs> this year the only thing that had affected us is we by now would have started the service but then we had to hold on because and i don't even think it, the blame is on COVID. it's really on the utah strike mm -hmm. so utah strike pulled us back that how now, so yeah so what happened was that national service when you look at our at the at four two six it's, it's clear in there that you're supposed to do service when you are a graduate so mm -hmm. a student cannot do service and then utah prevented the national service personnel who are still students from completing because when they went on the strike, it affected the school calendar. And these people are about to complete. So we are only waiting for them to fully complete. Then we can issue the postings and then they start national service. So just so I'm clear, the new cohorts, or those who are supposed to do their service, mm. um, are not ready yet because of the Utah strike. Sure. So they're not done with school? No, they're not done with school. For them to start their service? Most of them service. are not done with school. Most yeah. of them. Yeah. So it means some are. Yeah, somehow. But then if, if it's not more than 85%, it becomes difficult because, like I said, as they are writing exam, they can also be focusing on coming to register. Mm. That will not be fair to them because it wasn't their fault that Utah went on strike. Okay. So, give and take, per your projections, how soon will this be sorted so their postings can be also, also taken care of? It should be sorted because we've already had conversations. Within what, two weeks? Two weeks, yeah. We've already had conversations with the VVCs. We've already had conversations with... They are, <coughs> they, we are under the Ministry of Education, so it was easy for us to have all these conversations. And mm. then, as we are speaking, we've been able to finish it because our processes are done. We've even gone live before, so I think in two last two weeks, we had the stress of going on live. I think one of the dons where our national service personnel who are very active mm. were all on the portals, and some of them had the privilege of having previews of what our processes were. So for us at National Service, we are done awaiting just the signal that 85 to about 90% are done with school. Then we would issue the postings. The postings. Yes. Okay. Because yesterday when we posted the flyer that you are coming, um, somebody sent a message into our Twitter DM, yeah, as it's called. Right. Again, let me just read it to you. Mm -hmm. Then I'll get a response. It says, Hello, Star FM. I'm aware that um, the boss of the NSS will be appearing on your show today. This is urgent. I'm a final year student of the University for Development Studies, UDS Wa Campus. Okay. Kindly, please kindly inform Madam Giftiori that all my classmates have had their postings. I'm the only one left behind. I haven't had access to my PIN code. I've lodged a complaint to my department officer and the Wa NSS regional office somewhere in July. Mm -hmm. I was informed that they are working on it. I've been running up and down between the, my department and the NSS regional office. But it seems you are not doing anything about it. <laughs> says, I sent Madame a personal email to lodge a complaint. I didn't get any response from her. Okay. He says, I am disappointed and fed up. Please kindly ask her to help me register to serve my country. I beg me in the name of God. I can't wait till next year. What, what's that person's name? 
uh, I can pull it up for you. Mm -hmm. If you, you can pull it so up for me. So what really happened is that any complaint I get when it's technical is sent mm -hmm. to the technical team. But I think so. Razak, I, Razak Tambro. Yes, Razak Tambro. I, I think I personally replied him, mm -hmm. and which I would show you. Yeah. And copied even in the reply, I copied my director MIS. Mm -hmm. So what really happened was I rather Razak, you should rather check your mail and check to reply us because what he sent me had no details of him. And then again, we do not know our national service personnel by any. Of the details and what the only way we are able to react is mm -hmm. when we have the details that they would give us and then through their schools because you check you are uds and you realize that there are many of them so you can check it so i even replied oh so there's a response yes same. okay so i asked them to look assess at the this yes. person okay right okay all right so you got the mail you responded yes, and asked that help be yes, given i responded okay and then and that that is the most of the time i'm not even personally supposed to it's just supposed to push it to them for them to react and then again what he should also know like i'm happy he said he's going to his com his department mm. it's only his school that will be able to send national services details okay and i i do not know how just him alone would be singled out out of the whole lot mm -hmm. whilst they were bringing it to the national service office so if that is also done, it means that there was an issue. And at this point, I think that if Razak, I, like I'll pick his details and then again from you, mm. so we can be able to really to work on it. What exactly? No, what exactly the issue is? Because most of the time, the school will have their own reasons why they would not include an individual's name because the school brings us their completion list. Yeah. So if in the completion list you are you are not included, it means there is a problem among the school system because it's only the school that can provide us your details without it we can't work on it and we don't take details personally from people okay so that's on the matter of postings mm. so generally posting you're saying that you uh once this utag matter is sorted out mm. utag is already sorted out. it is done so exams. after your exams yes and completion list is given then you'll be able to yes. do the postings no we, we, no we already have completion list yeah so completion list is given to us somewhere january mm -hmm. so what we do is we we go through a process called so the completion list in our system is called the master list mm -hmm. the master class list is what the schools give us okay when the schools give us we use the master class list we authenticate it we try to put it right we don't touch your name as how the school sent it we do not have any access to how your the course you are offering mm -hmm. and how it is written or any other detail the school sends us so what we do is that we put this thing into a process where you can easily access with your index number and other details then you can be able to go on our portal and register when we issue pins now all of them were done on time that's why i said COVID didn't really prevent us from doing all of these on time you are so able to do the need yes, for until the you talk strike came up. Okay. Um about payment of allowances. Yeah. That's the I mean, frankly, I think I think for anybody who monitors the NSS, the single biggest thing that always comes up payment of is allowance account. payment. Uh, is there a reason why there are delays? Are there really delays? So Francis, I had I had I had done this education over and over again and I'll do it again mm. here. So national service system is like the military system where we run into the middle of the month process mm -hmm. you so you don't pay end month you pay middle, of the, middle month. of the month okay we don't run the end month we run the middle of the month mm. so if you ask any national service personnel those who were doing service the next month you go submit your details middle of the month mm. that is when you are authentified so really who would sit to think that if i want to pay you for june mm -hmm. why would i ask you to bring me details of payment of june middle of july You've not really done all the July work. Mm. So really, and I'm surprised all of a sudden when it comes, when they are submitting, it's fine for them. Because mm -hmm. I don't know whatever that happens with them. But when their payment is supposed to come before the 15th, mm -hmm. it's a big deal. So the reality is that any time we pay between the 1st to 10th, national services will only paid earlier. And it's not because we have paid them on time, no. Mm. So any time we had come on social media and said, oh, it, they've been paid, and mm -hmm. it's like, somewhere fourth or fifth and somebody comes to say oh all we are just saying is for their information because we keep getting calls and things are coming and we are not late in payment as we speak all of the processes have been done we sent everything to gifts mm -hmm. because we only pay through gifts that's mm -hmm. the east west system yeah just to prevent any fraud or any challenges we used to get and these people are supposed to be paid today's 13th latest end of today they're supposed to be paid okay before the middle of the month so, per the payment schedule, it's always mid-month. 
it's supposed to S supposed to be supposed midnight to. so if it, it comes is, earlier it's, it's it's just earlier it's problem, sure and, and see. see the point is their payment also connects to this now our national service personnel can only be paid after controller releases funds mm. and it's it, it, it's exciting how often than not every month this is the shadow we go through there's a process and there is no way controller do not release funds into the national service effects before payment is supposed to be done mm. it's done when i say okay i've cleared these people these other people i'm going to pay then i'm re money is released to me like i'm saying at this process as you and i are speaking mm -hmm. they are done the e the year in review is done the higher number is done it's lessons and i think some few teachers that are still doing service and these people are going through the same chain this month we are preparing to pay them and as we are speaking they've started sending their monthly duty forms to mm -hmm. the various districts that they are seven and then they will be paid at the appropriate time okay so um in spite of this education you do all the time you still get a lot of people who come and say i've not been paid my allowance yes. i remember was it three months ago or four months ago it became a big storm i remember you had, you had to respond to some of these things on social media how do you take these things and and, and how do you constantly reorient Persons mm. who are doing national service mm. to see things that we have just explained. So it, it's like I, I keep saying, it's a human nature thing where whether we like it or not, the people that even know the right thing would sometimes want to, as far as it's my money and I think I work for it, mm -hmm. I want it no matter how, no matter what. So it got to a point that we decided to say, okay, we're going to pay when it's ready and then we keep quiet. But sometimes when my national service personnel are people who are youthful had a lot of exuberancy and the adrenaline is high if you do not reply them then that's when it turns into insults so i decided to say okay why don't i and obvious working with young people and being a youth myself mm. i appreciate our ss mm -hmm. so things that may get everybody else angry i try to be laid back but sometimes it hurts when you see let's say for instance like a media person who is supposed to come and seek for answers rather can't play games and not see that it's human beings emotions a person is playing with because mm. it's just a point i have i ca i keep telling people i've had a point where someone was not paid somewhere i think on the second and the person had sent me a message and said you will die and i'll make sure i kill huh? you yes so when most of the time some media threats on your life some media and these are people who sometimes you have to follow to arrest and then then who are we hurting we are, you're hurting a young man because you thought you were playing maybe make mischief or games on your social media as a an influencer as someone who you know people listen to you came to play with it you didn't even know that as your games it ended up in messes and these are what we've tried to make people understand that mm. you can come to seek information you can put the information you want to know out there but you do not put it out there to offend a young person because see i tell people we serve people who are in that point of they just left school and they for the first time most of them are get earning and they don't even know if they are still children i mean youth mm -hmm. or they are even adults these people have their own frustrations so anything that frustrates them anyone that makes them feel that mm -hmm. you are being cheated on the person would won't react it's like somebody pulling up and saying that oh give this salary i remember one of those audit things and then mm -hmm. one of the media houses somebody pulls up on social media and says oh this is what your boss is earning and put your money in the month and i'm like really are you just saying that you the person who is even putting this out are you not ashamed to think like we are educated and you working in an agency look at your general manager's salary and yours is it the same and then you are going out there to think maybe sometimes pranks thinking you are exciting yourself but what you are doing is you are hurting people and after let's say if i had caused an arrest of the young man who i said had threatened my life mm -hmm. and severally i've had several of them in my inbox even on my page threatening my life if i had arrested the next morning the news item maybe on star your web would have been national service deputy executive director decides to arrest the national service personnel but look at it i also have family i have people that i also connect to that mm -hmm. would not want anything to happen to mm. me so these people if i don't even want to react these people want to react and look at what happens to the reactions and the inactions of other people okay so i think that as we give information now we have now fortunately for us the information bill is, the right information bill has been mm. passed anybody that comes into our office we are public national services be one of the most active on social media and also even in the premier media when it comes to giving information out 
and gladly we'll always give the information from our websites wherever yeah and i think that that's what you the media team should help us with mm. because if you're able to help us to give the correct information out there then it saves everybody because i've done this over and over again yeah. just beneath the post of most of your colleagues mm -hmm. yet the next month you see the same person you did that education and just come to post come to say a different yeah. thing okay um more questions coming this one says hello francis please ask madam give this question for me mm. i completed my service in 2020 and was a beneficiary of the certificates that were delivered at my doorstep okay however when i received my certificate it didn't bear my name those are narrow but a girl's name <laughs> i managed to get in touch with the girl whom i got a certificate because we both served at ug okay but she also said she had received her service certificate i reported a case but no solutions yet as of now i only have the digital copy of my nss certificate can madam help with my plight yes i can but the beauty of it is this like he said mm -hmm. so you see francis we are sitting at national service and one of our innovations had been the fact that this young man says he has his digital certificate yes and his digital certificate has a two-factor security where nobody else can ever anyway forge his certificate and mm. on any day this certificate he has he has to just print it and use it mm -hmm. so you don't necessarily because we used to have a problem of people losing their certificates and they will have to come to national service go to the police take a police report go here go then there was so many stress yeah. so we say now let's digitize the certificate <coughs> keep it yourself for mm -hmm. the rest of your life mm -hmm. so yes he can still have access to his original like what do you call it the hard copy certificate yeah. he just has to go to for he mm -hmm. served at ug which means yes, he served under now. the la the landma so he has to go to the la madina quantana district and mm -hmm. when he goes there the municipal director is going to make sure he they go through the process because what people don't get is when you come to the headquarters there is less i can do because you didn't even serve under me mm -hmm. even the headquarters staff are serving under the was always Wogon municipal okay so i am not the one who authorizes the headquarters staff their process okay so if you are a national service personnel at the headquarters you still have to go and deliver your details mm -hmm. before you can get all the processes and how so these things bear, out? yeah they should bear with us that is that the municipal we serve mm -hmm. not at the headquarters okay interesting um so when the po okay let's talk about the postings mm. for a minute on the postings is there anything called protocol postings no where people can choose where they want to go no so when, when, when if you come to our office and you said you're posting they would ask you what is posting because in our service we call it deployment okay so or protocol we, deployment no we don't have protocol deployment <laughs> there is no way called protocol deployment you know when you go through our act some of the crimes are you know do you know lobbying mm -hmm. which is supposed to be a beautiful point of view showing your negotiative skills and mm -hmm. it's a crime at national service so you don't even lobby to be posted so nobody has ever lobbied to be posted you don't you are not supposed to not supposed to but does it happen for that i'll plead a because i don't know if people do but for me <laughs> nobody comes to plead with me to but, you, but, <laughs> but 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 <laughs> since you are the home of affairs <laughs> right, are you so, aware well, of these reports okay so so for instance the same way like the services are employing mm -hmm. there are a lot of things you would hear that this did this someone did that but most of the time the most frustrating part of it is that you may once a while be able to chase those recalcitrants and get to them but mm. it's difficult because the person doing the crime and the person who is also the they are both criminals because if i decide to pay you francis some mm -hmm. money and say okay francis do this for me when i so know that it's supposed to be free mm. then i'm also as a criminal as you are mm. and the challenge is every year whether we like it or not they will still get people who want to play fast on people and who are even sitting down and assuming now i remember somebody had sent me a link before and the link seemed like national service the only thing that had was ours is www.nss.gov.gh mm -hmm. the other one had dot com so people every day want to be innovative mm -hmm. because we post about 120,000 people. We're able to scam, let's say, even a thousand people with 10 Ghana seeds. That's so much money. Mm -hmm. So people are every day doing all of these things. So we can't stop people from doing these things. All we can do is always educate these people. That is why we have campus orientations. That's why we have group orientations. We go to the extent of leaving this orientation on our platforms for people to be educated. Mm -hmm. That's see, reposting is not a crime. Reposting is accepted at national service. Reposting meaning? Reposting meaning that I have been posted to Star FM. Mm -hmm. I went to Star FM by whatever reason they cannot let me work there. All I just have to do is to go back to national service and I'll be sent somewhere else. Okay. And that same place would be 
the same district you are in, mm -hmm. the same region, nothing will change. The difference is Star FM will change. Mm. So it will just be EIB moved into something else. Okay. So if I want to do media, maybe I could just go to any of the other media houses. Okay. And these things, we always tell these people to understand. Because I told this, I had a young lady walk into my office and say, Madam, I'm sorry, but you posted me to GMPC, which everybody else wants. Mm -hmm. But I have a boyfriend who says, if I leave the town I'm in and go somewhere else, it's over between us. Hey. You see, oh, you, you, see look, you, look, you see, you see, to everybody, you see, to everybody, look weird. But that's the point. For us as national service, we do not break relationships. <laughs> Mine is supposed so who to does? I, I can't tell. But the point is, I'm supposed to give you the comfort of service. So when you are delivering to Ghana, you can deliver well. This young lady's concern may look trivial, but it's a huge concern that may distract her if you post it to GMPC Takrade because she may be frustrated. So at the end of the day, mm. I had to ask her, where do you stay? Which town are you in? We posted her to the town she is. We post based on these criteria. Okay, so there one, are some extraneous circumstances where you have to look at their yes, postings again. One, we look at the people that are seeking for you. So mm -hmm. before we commence even the posting, we will first look at the people that are married as they, and we don't look at married men, we look at married women. And then we look at pregnant women mm -hmm. and we look at people with disability okay. and put them closer to home, places that they can easily serve and be able to remove back home. Mm. Now, when we are done with that, we look at who is being sick for. Mm. So when you check, we post more into the education and the health sector. Yes. So if these two sectors are asking us for people, we now cover their postings. When we are done with their posting, the next thing we do is to look at the courses people offered. Mm. So if I did engineering and all the engineers had been posted to so so and so company and then someone else is still asking for some engineer we look at what is closest to that so for instance if they said they wanted chemical engineering and someone else did chemistry if a person didn't do education chemistry we'll post this person to work at the engineering firm mm. if for instance someone is looking for let's say someone who might have done material science and we are done posting material science and we still have math mm. we'll post the person that we have statistics we'll post the person to this place okay so when we are done with that then we look at the general posting so after all these ones are covered, now a lot of us are left. Which other places do we have? Can we generalize the slots? And without looking at the face, the NSS number, the details of the person, we look at which regions they picked. So I might have picked Greater Accra, I might have picked Eastern Region and placed there. If these regions are full, we come to look at which regions other need areas. more people. Okay. Then we post them. And for the reposting, do people take fees for them? It's free. It's free. Reposting is not just free. It is mm -hmm. extremely free. Extremely free. What's yes. the difference between free and extremely free? So, you are not even supposed to text, which would waste a battery of yours mm -hmm. to get reposted. You're just supposed to walk into a national service office. It's the duty of my staff to mm. repost you. Okay. And until all the national service personnel are out there doing their service, the staff do not rest. I'm getting a lot of messages. Somebody says... There are insiders within your organization that take money from graduates in an attempt to pay, uh, in, in an attempt to do reposting for them. You see, they should. I'm coming. He said they should investigate the IT department. People are making a lot of money out of this illegal activity. Right, Francis. I I will do all of these things. The person is saying, but it hurts mm -hmm. when I sit as national service boss in the next second. For instance, I I am supposed to be the final sanctioner of the national service posting. Yeah. So anybody, any crime, anybody dead. Mm -hmm. rest on me yeah is that not it right yes. so if someone most of the time i tell people it's so frustrating mm -hmm. when someone says oh you have to look at your staff mm -hmm. look at this if my friend is francis mm -hmm. as we've been friends for long yeah and a young lady walks in here like you're getting all these messages and mm -hmm. 10 of them send you posting and say we my mother is sick i don't have anyone to take care of my mother please star fm help me get posting in asankriga mm -hmm. And Star FM decides to go through you as my friend or any of the HR people or someone mm. to post, bring them to us. Whether or not that young person even sending is him or her, we don't know. Whether or not that person seeking for the help mm -hmm. are taking a dime, mm -hmm. we do not know. Mm -hmm. But who are we helping? We felt that the person went seeking for help from Star FM. Mm. So we need to help the person. Now, if there be challenge that the person says, they took one password from me, we're supposed to be blamed. Will it be Star FM? Mm -hmm. Will it be Gifty? 
or will it be the team I sent the details to? Okay. So there is a complex role around this whole conversation that we have young people, adults, people who are connected to the system mm. who say, I'm sorry, but there was this challenge we received. The schools have brought people in to the extent that, mm. for instance, MTN go recruit people from the various schools and they bring them. There are still people who are frauds who go around and also say, I'm recruiting for social and so bring mm -hmm. your list and I'll take it. Now, before you know, yes, somebody may walk into the MTN office to the HR's office and say, I have this son. I beg you, he did so and so called. His dream is to work with national service. His work, sorry, with MTN. Mm -hmm. Give it out. HR brings it to us. Later on, if there is some fraud around it, who is supposed to be blamed? Okay, but in those instances, is there is an investigation cost to look into it? Because yes, much no, as we, like, because of these things happen, every year, year, every, every, like year every year as we are speaking, mm -hmm. national service in collaboration with national security, with BNI, with the police have arrested a lot. We've imprisoned people. As we are speaking in Asante region, I still have the Athani General's Office working on a, pro a, a project there. Okay. Looking at all of this. But like I'm saying, it keeps happening. Mm -hmm. I have 120,000 people we are posting. It keeps happening. You cannot even stop your mandate to go look into this. So all we do is to push it to those whose mandate it is for them to look through this. Mm -hmm. And we keep going on with our mandate. Our IT system, like they're saying, if you ask a lot of them to mention the people in our IT system, you may be amazed that people may not even be able to. Because there are people we keep shuffling, people we keep twisting around. And every year, if I tell you the processes we go through to be able to do exit conferences, to bring out a posting, you'll be amazed. And all of these processes are done. Sometimes the supposed people who work in this department do not even know when the postings are going to be done. Mm. The owners lies on few people's bosom. But when it is out there, it becomes a point look at your staff look at your staff and i keep looking at the staff i keep looking at people and if you're not very careful you're going to be pushed to begin to see your staff as the criminals but look at it most of the staff are giving like i said as the boss if people begin to give me a list and say do this do that help me with this one if you don't and say no your what should just be posted like this okay kifty as a friend of mine Look at what she did to me, and it becomes a point of your name for So what, it becomes a matter of influence peddling that sometimes influences the postings? No. This is not about influence. Like mm. I said, mm -hmm. if somebody had seeked for assistance yeah. through you, like today on Adom, is he Adom or Inshira, the young chap without a nose? Yeah. As we that's had that's Nkunim. Nkunim, good. Mm. As he has spoken, if the hospital has said that, okay, we need assistance, and we had assistant, you think he was influenced? No. That's the point. Because I may help not because I was influenced, but I may help because I heard the story on Star 103.5 and I was touched and I felt like I should help. So if Star is saying that there is like this young man mm -hmm. who said that he needed help and Razak, I'm going to help Razak because though I had shown you my mm -hmm. reply to Razak, yeah. the point is that he has seek for help again. Mm -hmm. So if really I didn't even come in, Razak had sent it, he would have sent it to me and said, mm -hmm. Razak needs this assistance. If I help Razak, and tomorrow we find out that Razak had not paid, let's say, his fees mm -hmm. or something. That's why his school didn't bring his details. It means all of us in the chain get implicated. Thank you. Okay. And that's why we're suffering. So it's difficult to work under a youth agency. Difficult. Extremely difficult. Are there been points where you wanted to quit because of all these things? Many times. Many times? Many times. You, you thought of quitting? You don't just think of quitting. You think of telling yourself that it's just not too much. It's just not frustrating. It's so frustrating to sit at a point where you think everything is fine and the next second like social media i've seen a video of a young chap on facebook saying bring your posting or bring your posting we would give you some we will give you posting come and pay 20 cd come and, and you see all these videos mm -hmm. and then you arrest this person and the next second some family comes to you and say you're yeah, sorry but our son was only goofing or our daughter was just goofing forgive and then the process going really they don't really find anything and it was one of those snapchat excitements for them and then they don't even have the person that ha if you type even nss you even find it on the person's phone so the person has no connection to nss and then you move on but yet again someone else is out there mm. insulting and making it look like it is your reason it is your age so the, there are that that point yes you want to serve the people you wish you're serving them right that's why we are always trying to kept things digitize things mm. get them on a lot of things that would prevent all of this stress yeah but then again when it gets very frustrating yeah sometimes you feel like as human as we are many times
Okay. In, wow, that's interesting. Yeah, many that's times. interesting. And I think many, many other people to work in other agencies will also tell you, even I think there may be times where presidents of countries will want to quit. Because it gets frustrating when, for instance, you hear some young chap insult mm. Nanado and say, like, look at him. Like, you look at it and say, really, if I wasn't here, who would have said this to mm. me? Mm. Okay. Um, here's another one. Today, I'm just giving you what the people yeah, want because fine. clearly nss has a lot of connections yes it's fine um this one says good morning francis um i i selected greater accra mm. ashanti and eastern region and got posted to upper east yes why why because he needed to know his other regions in the country and also to be able to serve at where he was needed mm. because we don't just post people we post people to places they are needed if you remember when i was telling you the criteria today i said when yeah. we we're done we look at which regions had not been fulfilled which regions needed some expertise we have not sent to okay so yes it's possible that his expertise were needed in upper east upper west more than he was in greater Accra, eastern and asante that's why you sent him there and that's why we sent him there like i keep saying it's nothing personal mm -hmm. we don't look at whether you are handsome or not because the people that are even doing the posting they don't even see the they don't even see whether you are handsome or not okay because nobody they don't even see the pictures okay mm. okay uh again as i said a lot of messages coming mm. um so with the service mm. when you're done completed you've got your certificate yes what kind of year on year assessment do you do to ascertain the quality of work that these hundred and twenty thousand people every year give to the country so uh, though they bring us their monthly duty form what we pick is an annual assessment from the assessment form the annual one gives your supervisor and your supervisors supervisor mm -hmm. from being able to <laughs> get so why are you laughing <laughs> <laughs> it's fine from why well, you you saw me shocked we're extremely shocked okay. <laughs> i'm seeing all manner of freak messages so what we do is that we, we find uh we make them bring us an assessment of the people and then they tell us and this assessment is what determines if the people will be given their nss certificates or not so the process is that you've done service and then quarterly we mm -hmm. also put out surveys monkey surveys among our national service personnel to also know their challenges yes and we have a desk at national service called the inclusion desk mm -hmm. and this desk is supposed to also take care of them by telling us because some of them in as much as yes they some of them could be very funny and they could do all the wrongs yeah. they also go through a lot of stress at the workplace so we have this desk that's also tell us what they are also going through and before they do their exit for instance when they were doing it in june this mm -hmm. year when they had to put their assessment form there are a few questions we ask them to understand and appreciate how our stakeholders engagement are going to be so now when i'm going to meet us and so agency i know that this agency this thing keeps coming up mm -hmm. and then we we'll have to correct that yeah. okay uh, it's five minutes tonight you're listening to morning star live here on star 103.5 for my guest this morning give tea or i the deputy executive director for the national service scheme wait acting executive director for the national service scheme uh, are you waiting for confirmation it's solely in the bosom of the president do you want to be confirmed I can't talk about that. Why not? Uh, because, like I said, it, it's, it's like someone asking me... Wouldn't you want to serve, be at the very top? I am. I, ha I have been serving all this while. Yes, I, I know you've been serving, but do you want the top job? You, you, you don't need to be the, on the top to serve. I know you don't need to, but do you want to? I won't answer that. Why won't you answer it's that? It's personal. Why is it personal? <laughs> yeah, you, you have ambitions. What's wrong with that? No, no, but yes, I have ambitions. But I, I would want to speak about my ambitions when you and I are just sit there. <laughs> <laughs> speak about the ambition on Star One <laughs> I'm not, I'm not on the Star Chat. <laughs> Maybe when I'm on the Star Chat, I may be able to turn an hour if I want to. If I have ambition to become president. But you will tell me. Tomorrow. I'll tell you when we okay. are on that personal note. But, but not on air not on the morning i thing. see we are not we are not on a teacher <laughs> <laughs> okay the reason i was a little shocked mm. is that I've, I've just seen a screenshot of the uh, messages being sent on whatsapp platforms mm. that very important prospective personnel should make their money ready <laughs> for instant repostings to your preferred place of choice mm. instant repostings cost 250 cds and then there's a number given okay so you'd be surprised i would you connect to this number we keep giving these numbers to national security a lot Sometimes you connect to them. I'm happy that now the Minister of of Communication is saying that we're going to link our numbers to our Ghana cards, and then without a Ghana card, you can't even register a card. Mm -hmm. So it gets easier. But some of these numbers you check, and before you know, you go to some village and in some girl sitting somewhere who didn't even know that 
there was a number, a number is being used for these things he or she had gone to register and then and because people could easily transfer the money to someone else and see all this process is happening because may i yes i have a security bag on but mm -hmm. i'm not a security person I'm okay. not a practitioner so it's difficult for us as national service to follow up on all of them mm -hmm. some of these things have like i said we have a, a team that is sitting down looking at some of these things we go connect i see there is something very beautiful i remember somewhere was it in january or no i think in february mm -hmm. I did I, I i did something very beautiful so one day came and i said everybody who is on our system who can have access to doing anything should leave the system mm. and one morning it was just me on the system and that day i remember the insults i got it i was asking myself and the insults were on social media mm. and i was asking myself but how did all these people know i've taken all the people out because it's administrative yeah so how did they know so you can tell you that you whether you like it or you're working with human beings who still have connections who have tight links with people and then all these things happen so some of these things would have to pick them up and follow them up and make sure that the right groups would do the right thing but for now there is little i can do sitting here okay all right um <laughs> um the monies you pay mm. for the nss allowance mm. is what five nine five five nine five five nine point zero four the point zero four is very important so it's zero four pesos yes zero four pesos and the zero four pesos keep growing and it's zero four pesos times 12 months uh-huh so you that's can imagine take a 48 pesos yes and this 48 pesos, no wait zero four is not for 48. no it's not 48 zero four times 12 it's so 4.8 yes 4.8 and you see this four that's, point that's that's almost five pesos yes and you see this 4.8 means a lot to the national service person how so the five five nine how so ask any person tell me why i'm just telling you because I why don't know why, I why, why is it important <laughs> when i was serving at national arts at KNUS, i remember we we're being paid 250 point i think point one or something mm -hmm. and the point one was so important to us that when we go and take our allowance at the point one is off mm -hmm. see the way we would that those times social media wasn't around and i tell people that it was just my own karma that sometimes comes to me mm. the way we would go and harass the then regional director that say please our money our money mm -hmm. and what money are we asking for this 0 0.1 so you see the national service personnel has their own excitement like i said mm -hmm. we don't take taxes from the allowance we don't yeah. take a dime from it but then when they go in the 0 0.4 which often would maybe bank charge or something is being taken you don't know what they do to us and how much they, they harass you for yes, that and how much they will come and write on our platform and say you thieves stop stealing our 0 0.4 so you add it you make sure you add it, it, it it's not just adding we it, it is paid but then when because of bank charges because mm. they use the e-switch and then mm. the card must be worked on and all that so they may lose some bit and when they miss they lose it they know so well, when you have an atm you okay. still pay bank charges they come harassing and gifty and their team but for the amount they're taking the, the 559 mm. they said it's not been increasing the past four years why that's not true so what's so true talk to me so 2000 it was in 2018 i think to 17 18 that it was increased and then it was increased from a 350 to the 559.04 like i said mm -hmm. and that was, was in 20, what, 2018 2018 i think yeah okay so but this year's budget really has been read media review has been done and then there's not been any increment so there is no way those going to commence would have increment if there is supposed to be any increment and it means that it's supposed to affect though it may affect them small because the next year's budget is in preparation mm -hmm. we may but have you made a case for an increase in, in, in the next budget every year of the life of a national service boss mm -hmm. you will always make ways a case for increase a case for increase the reason is because to me what will i lose to see my national service personnel being paid a thousand cities nothing mm -hmm. ghana may lose some money but the point is it is just to give back to the society because these people are still taxpayers they do things that will still give back to the country mm. so really it's no big deal but what is a big deal is that it will still have to go through appropriation we would have to sit to justify it and after all the justifications are done if the system deem it fit mm -hmm. then we can have the increment but i think that is something we have been looking at for a while because we've been bombarded with a lot of those kind of messages on our platforms and then that's how the generation comes when we want to put up an increment and i think that's part two is brought something around it yeah okay so you're making a case for the increase we will okay um is there any part of the monies that the natural service people pay and there and there are deductions from source no no so what what, what they do like 
National Service, when you're registering, you pay a 40 cities. Mm. If you're using the Momo system, you pay 41 cities. Mm -hmm. The 41 is for the charges. And then the 40 cities, the details of it is that part of it is administrative, all the administrative charges of all the processes we give them, including mm -hmm. the digitization we have done. Then 10 cities, I think, goes to, into the NASPA, they being NASPA people, the National Service Personal Association. Mm -hmm. And I think the, the other 10 goes into their ID cards and the details they pick doing the ID card to check mm. for for them. So for the five five nine the deductions are about a hundred CDs. No no we don't we don't deduct it from it. No. No deduction. No deduction. No. So is there any truth to and I and, and I'm cross checking with you. Mm. Somebody has tweeted at me that um they deduct hundred CDs compulsory towards the cathedral. Is it true? That's not true. That is so not true. Some of these things sometimes I, I I'm sorry, but it's frustrating. That's what I'm asking you. Yes, no, not for you, but mm. for like even the young person. Mm. I think that we must be truthful as people. But Francis, hey, can we sit and say that? Let's say Star says I'm going to deduct something without even putting up a statement or something. No, no it can't. And this is supposed to be an allowance that can, you cannot even take tax from it. Mm -hmm. So how on earth? Mustafa Yusuf, who is Honorable Mustafa Yusuf, who is the sports minister who used to be the executive director, is a Muslim. At the end of the day, mm -hmm. did you ever hear there was a Hajj and we were deducting one Ghana to go support Hajj? No. So how on earth can I sit and say, or by which board can any decision be made? By whose authority to say that I want to take a hundred CD from each person's allowance to go give cathedral? Some of these things, I don't know if it's, I think it's about, uh, it's exuberance. Exuberance. Yes. You feel exuberance. Yes. Is that the point of wanting to maybe tweet at Francis and there was really nothing I could tweet at him but that to say something, something was done. Yes. Oh. Because really because <laughs> the person goes into to, if really the person is a national service personnel, yeah. you go into to see your allowance. Mm -hmm. You so no no deduction has been done. If ever a deduction is done, you are sent a text. Mm -hmm. Now after the text, when even you, you pick your statement, it's written on it what the deduction was done for. Mm. We've not done a deduction. Why would you even for a second pull up this thing and say there is a deduction? So they're done with their service. I've yes. done my national service. I know many of my folks have equally done the same. And to cite us when they are done with it. It's what? It's a cite us at national service. It cites you. Yes. Um, but there are many too who are done with service and don't have jobs. That is, that is, that is, that is what I keep telling them. That you would need to look at mm -hmm. because you see the reality begins to dawn on the national service person and it did on all of us when we we're young that it dawns on you when you are close to july mm -hmm. when your hr or supervisor calls and say hey do you know you'll be going on your terminal uh, they call leave from first of august mm -hmm. then you begin to appreciate that okay it's ended how do you, Francis, go now in HR systems, if you ask in HR, they will tell you that they go to the extent of checking social media. Mm -hmm. Now, on your social media platform, all you keep doing is to be insulting people and making no case for yourself and mm. trying not to put an image out there. Now, when you are doing your CVs and they ask you for your Facebook page, you gladly also type the road gift your warrior budget. And you think that when they go to check and all I have done is to put on a singlet or open my chest and pose for some with some girl on my chest and say okay look at me and you've done all of that if you flaunting whatever you think you're flaunting mm. some bank will want to employ such a person no because now branding is very important mm. and we kept using acca we kept using the google guys to train those national service personnel mm. i know what they do because we are so youthful and we have all the excitement and we think oh Somebody's come to write on our platform before, excuse my language, the F language at us because ACC says they are training national service personnel on soft skills. And it was a national service personnel. And the person did, and you see that day, the person got, I think, the highest retweets. But you see, and I came back to say, after the 30th of August, you would appreciate what you just did. And gladly, I think by now, the person is appreciating it. Because mm, we are yeah. in September now. Yes you would finish and realize that ha huh, what did i do what did i gain a lot of them don't even go to work because they say national service they are heading. but when you are done there are still many national service personnel who had been retained mm. so ask yourself what stopped me from being retained what stopped me from getting a job what stopped me from being able to move to a point i remember a young man one summer 
who used his, who decided to put his social service allowances together because mm -hmm. he was getting tips at work from the boss they were topping up their allowance mm -hmm. and then whatever allowance he was getting he put it up and set up a company this young man visited us and you know what the national service personnel some of them did they went on the platform and insulted the young man that you are very foolish do you think anybody can use the allowance to set up but i tell them if i want to sell water what do how much do i need i need less than 50 cities to start it if you have did doing due diligence on this water trade in about a month somebody can because I've seen young national service personnel who are starting, started selling airtime to even their own colleagues and mm. now they all big airtime companies. I went to KNUST, a mate of mine who had started doing this IT software. So he will pick pen drives and stuff. Today, he was one of the biggest IT systems infrastructure in this country. And everybody had forgotten that when we were in school, when all of us were excited and we were going to Abuja and coming back with our excitement and mm. we were in cars and we were happy. He was sitting down using the small money he had in Ghana to make us buy him pen drives. And who bought the pen drives? It was us, those who came from where the pen drives were sold. Mm. And we didn't buy one, but we came to buy it from him. And sometimes we are the ones who carry the pen drives to him. So I carried all to him. He sold it back to me in once, in twice, and he was making more money. Mm. And that's the reality. So our national service personnel should begin to rethink. And as the new cohorts are coming, they see it as it's a process of your first step up where you can make all your mistakes, mm -hmm. learn to be the one that you will be forever. And in positioning your thoughts, you know that there is a future that you have to uphold. And this charge, you are the only one who can keep it. Okay. The postings that are done, I mean, offices, mm. uh, teaching, medical facilities, what about agriculture? We do a lot in agriculture. Mm. That's that's where I'm going to. Yeah, national service national service as a scheme has. Uh, we have what we call the demonstration farms mm -hmm. across the country. Okay. Many of them. How many farms? Oh, I said now, Francis. We have more than thirty farms. Thirty farms across the country. Across the country. Across the country. Okay. Almost in all the regions. On average, each farm will be how many acres? Yeah, I have even as many as thousand acres. Thousand acres. Yes, I have some places as many as one fifty, two hundred, depending on how big mm -hmm. the. What do they grow there? So we we move from maize to cowpea, to pigry, to cattle, to how do you call them? This one, garden eggs, even mm -hmm. in Eastern Region, because that's what that's well in Eastern Region. Yeah. We have even a uh, sugarcane farm also at. Gumwalome. Mm -hmm. We have Commenda. We also have Gumwalome. Okay. Yeah, like we've had. Those are Goma people. They have yeah. Brazil. They have <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, Gumwalome. And then at Commenda, too, we have a sugarcane farm. Then we have some other farms there. Abotiapota, we are collaborating to do vegetables mm -hmm. with the Glaco people. That's the golden tulips. Yeah. And so we have them scattered all over. When you go to a place like the Onyama bin uh, Hyama Adrin. Oh, Hyama Adrin. Hyama That's in the western region. Yes. Okay. We I know farms. that place very well. All right. We have farms there. And we have farms also at Yagaba. We have farms at Ize Ize, Tantala. Mm -hmm. We have farms ev almost everywhere. Okay. And for all these farms, people are posted there to go and work? Yes. Okay. And not, people are not Thousands? Just, yes. People are not thousands because we don't have that huge capacity. Because what we do, they are demonstration farms. So mm -hmm. we post them there to go support the farm and be get hands-on on the farms and then out and over the years have you seen people going to these farms and turning out to move into yes, farming proper, proper a lot of them so mm. lots of them. We, we, we set up so out of it we had to do something uh, on, around entrepreneurship in agri and it yeah where we use digitization to be able to farm and farm proper oh nice so when you come to our farms we use the drone system to do fertilization we don't do fertilization on the hand and yeah. other things and we had a i think our second cohorts are in training so we had the first cohort where they were given i think twenty thousand each between mass lock and capital venture mm -hmm. for them to set up so in collaboration with national service they set up their own farm so oh, nice. is to do the supply chain so mm -hmm. from some are into poultry some are into the feeding anything that connected mm. the poultry because that was the easier one for instance when you do the farming now because ghana our system is changed because now in september we are still seeing rains mm -hmm. so you are not able to really do a lot of cropping if you're individual and it's very difficult but then for the poultry you can manage how you do you sound like a farmer yeah because after working for national service for five years you're a farmer you end up being a farmer i see <laughs> interesting so that's really what we, we we do and then we have a collaboration with the uh the best farmers association mm -hmm. where we post people to them for them to groom 
For instance, the Daku farms receive a lot of people from us. The Akati farms receive many people from us. Mm. What we post them to is to be groomed by these people and then they collaborate with them through national service to be able to set up, including okay. IT systems. So, so, so from, the, from the planting and harvest on the farms, is there the entire value chain, the processing, yes, we do. everything? We do, we do. Mm. We should visit us at our farms, at the Nungwa farms, on the, what do you call it? So when you're going on the motorway. Mm. So there you would go see, national service, we make our own sausages, we make our own toast, mm -hmm. everything is done there. And all this process, we have machines that we use them for. So we train people through all these things okay. and to understand. We still have vet veterinarians and other people we deploy on our farms and mm -hmm. other farms for them to also go and work here. So we don't just cut the process. We, we have a supply chain. The whole, the whole the chain. Whole chain yeah. That's why I said when we train those young ones, we didn't just train them to use, for them to only be placed on the what do you call the farms. Mm -hmm. they, some of them decided to divert into the supply chain. Guard areas. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, I just I just got, I just got a message uh, from one of our listeners, okay. uh, Dr. Kobe Mensa. Let no. me just read exactly what he had to say mm. uh, on all that is being done, especially from the point of national service. Let me read that. It says, uh, Francis, NSS can make postings to other places exciting and, and attractive by doing a documentary of people who were posted there and how it benefited them. Sharing this on social media will attract a lot of students. What do you say? We have all of those documentaries you see <laughs> doc it's 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 funny that you would post that video and you know how many people will view it how many like you get like 20 people view mm. but the day there is an issue on some so and so who went nude there will be many other people the stories had been spoken many times mm -hmm. we've done a lot of collaboration even with eib mm. on last before COVID, we had this thing on awarding the best national service personnel yeah. and what we did was to swing them not into the regular posting we do but people had made impact mm. we had young ones who had gone we had a young lady who had moved from accra all her life lived in accra never spoken any language from the north was posted to the northern region she decided to go there venture it. Mm. when she went there a town where only few people are educated she decided to now persuade most of the men there to let their daughters go to school. Oh, nice. Now, she set up, she was bringing dignified people around the communities mm. to come speak to these people and let them tell their stories and how they could also make it out of these mm -hmm. places. Before she went, she had set it up. In the Volta region, we had another young lady who was sent there. A classroom that was broken down. She was able to mobilize the people in the town. They set it up. And now they have a full six-block classroom there done by the people mm. locally. And then when she approached us, National Service collaborated with Calban, for instance, does a lot of these collaborations where they do boreholes and other stuff for the NSPs that are serving in these rural areas. Yeah. So we keep doing these things. We keep telling these stories. We keep letting them know almost every year. But the truth is, we can always pull the donkey to the riverside. They can't force but when it, to it drink. comes to drinking, and that's just a problem. And this excitement, you'll be amazed. A lot of our people are not excited, not because they don't want to be excited, but the fact that people are not ready to take the venture. And that is the scare. Okay, we but is it is it because mm. the conversation around national service only becomes real in the final year? Final year for those in the universities. Mm. So that if from year one, you are conscientized that by the time you are done with your course, you go to do this one year of service to the country, this is what it will be about. Mm. This is what you could potentially do. See, there's an opportunity to go and make impact mm. and be different and start out your career. Mm. Will not be a, a better way of addressing so that the interest that we want to see becomes a reality? Yes, I think it's something we would have to take up. And <clears throat> as I'm told on radio, my <clears throat> communication and corporate affairs, are they are also listening and they would pick it up mm. for us too. But one of the things we worked on is this. For instance, the universities yes, have a limit they can allow you in. Yeah. They may allow us into a point, yes, get you to do the A, B, C, D, E. But it's difficult when mm -hmm. you have to go in there and then say, okay, right from first year, I want to come and do this with them. They will give you all the audience, but for how long? Mm. So I think that what rather we would have to consciously do, since we are under the Ministry of Education, will be to, we have a with our minister mm -hmm. and we find a way of the citizenry and the social studies we do incorporate it in the work national service was supposed to have done for us first 
was to make us more nationalistic and patriotic yeah. and appreciate what Ghana is and understand that I need to serve and give back to the society. Mm -hmm. So yes, it's a good deal, but we will have to start from somewhere. Of course, of mm. course. Um, hmm, many, many messages. Today, dear, mm. Gifty. Okay. Uh, this one says, Good morning, Francis. Is Gifty, please ask Gifty if he's aware of the irregularities in the system. That is, people sent to especially schools mm. who don't go there to teach or work, but have an arrangement with the headmasters or those they are supposed to report to agree on principle to split their monthly allowance 50 50 so the person will not go there to work <coughs> but every month uh goes to the institution to sign forms and share the funds francis when you come into our office i, I think one of the days I'll, I'll share some of these details maybe we'll have to tell our story mm -hmm. and let people understand that we so understand the system we run and some of these people because of the monitoring our officers have been doing at the district levels. That's why we do not do anything at the top, but mm. everything is done beneath. We block most of them. It's just like, see, let me tell you something. If you are doing service mm -hmm. and you decide to go and do your master's, you are stopped from the system. You are stopped? Yes. And how, we block you. How, how you would you know? And do your mm -hmm. okay. So you see, the difference is this. The people often, because we do not come put it into the public, a lot of people think that, oh, they don't know about it. National service, they don't know me. We so know a lot. And every time we have people on the grounds that do monitoring, because mm. it's someone's job to do the monitoring, bring reports to the region, to the yeah. district, far to the, what do you call it, the headquarters. And then national security also does some of these collaborations with us to make sure that the right things are done. Mm. So yes, some of these schools, we have sanctioned through the education ministry, education service, a lot of these teachers who are, or head teachers who are done these mm. things. But like I said, unless it comes to our notice, there's little... Like so is there a complaint line or a, a, yes, a whistleblower line? Yes. Somebody knows this, they call you and say, Charlie, this thing is happening yes, here. Yes, there is. So we, we have some toll-free numbers on our website mm -hmm. where people are able to do these things. And then again, like I said, on the when, when they call on any of the districts and the regions, they would just quickly pick it up because mm -hmm. it's, it's it's so part of their what do you call it uh, their performance appraisals and it's is a point of being able to get it done well. Because for instance, if a staff has a pain any month and then it, it it's detected that these people are let's say on the YE and they're also on the national service, the staff who verified them. Is held responsible. Mm. So there are yes. many other responsibilities that the public financial money had given us, had given them, and all these things will be surcharged. Mm. So this surcharged, nobody wants to be surcharged, and all these things are happening. But the point is, because they are our administrative stories, we can't come to the public and begin to talk about how we stopped so, so and so people. But every year, Francis, we are saving Ghana as much as the least we've done is like a ten million. 10 million yes so once and you see it you stop the payment stop payments and then we ask you to return so you whatever amount you have taken if you were working fair but if you were not and there is no proof of service you return the money you return the money yes and people have returned the money yes and some of them had even been arrested the moment we had to go as far as arresting them arrested prosecuted jailed or arrested so mine is to arrest it, it is a civil mm -hmm. when we arrest damages damages are paid then you pay sometimes they even have to pay with interest okay so if the audit the, these are the stories the auditor never comes out to say because mm. when the auditor didn't write it's also auditing us these are the things they see and maybe some of those times they would have to tell the stories too okay okay and so, so it, this is how much it's like you have an axe to ground the uh, the auditor general with these things too i i i i think i think so because it, it's frustrating when i say like i said mm -hmm. when i say public servants you all you see is the auditor you know has not brought you an executive report or executive summary but then you hear some news item national service and then 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 mm. whatever has this in their report mm. and you're like really and then you call them and they say oh we are sorry we'll bring you the report next week are you serious really is that what happened with this yes. one because we we still don't have an executive summary i'm telling you of this latest one yes really yes so that's the system we want because you and i have created the impression that stories must be in the media even before they are listened no no wait so i but am not the even, general support is I'm done not even completed listen, usually we're told that not when these issues come up no, so I'm not you even, are given a right so to respond i'm not listening to you can call my predecessors from pesa white to everybody and they'll mm. tell you that these are the challenges we keep getting that as a public servant as a 
somebody you have placed there to take care of your things mm. that sometimes i'm not even listened to and really most of these things are not like my personal thing i've done mm -hmm. but for instance i remember national service thing i read on ghana web said okay national at national service my regional office had some receipts so, and so, and so. really we stopped issuing receipts and as national service regional office they don't even issue receipts but then if the auditor says that, okay we went and received eight to five it could not be found you know what, what they were supposed to have done it was just to cross check with the headquarters mm -hmm. And then you go and you say to all your people that and they said, no, the auditors who come to me, did you, we did an uh, exit conference. Why was this thing not brought up? We are sorry, but what is this? Really? But it's in the media. Then some young chap sitting somewhere had put a video on the person and had done a, an insulting video and said, give to your wife, Kwasian. But it's not in national service car. And nobody's going to say, I should. And when you even try to see, you know what they will say? Mu you too no do because they say don't take it personal but it's personal because when it is done who does it affect mm -hmm. you nobody cares about the fact that it was national service and the money who didn't come into my pocket everybody thinks oh yes you made this car like when they saw the list of say so people have been paid acting allowances and then i remember some of your people putting it out at the same film <laughs> and people were excited about it i'm like really no, I have not spent money and I'm being told I spent money and you are cited out there putting it out there and I saw banters of it and then everybody says okay so because it is in the audit gen auditor general's report mm -hmm. okay but you as a media man when even we went to school we were told that when even we have information we should do feedback mm -hmm. but which of that were that or the author and pattern you're the other side you. okay 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 <laughs> okay Last Friday, I'm sure you saw the the videos of the stampede at the job fair. You saw it? Uh, no. For the, for the YA job fair? I, 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 I heard news about it, but yeah. I've not seen it. Okay. As a country, what should be the way forward in how we address unemployment? Because in 2008, and I'm sure mm. you remember, yeah. when the, uh, the NYEP was created, mm. it was meant to address youth unemployment. 13 years down the line, it is still the single biggest, most important matter of a priority for us as a country in addressing unemployment. Mm. What should we do about it? What should we do differently? Francis, I, <clears throat> I think it's, it's uh, unemployment is a global issue mm -hmm. and not necessarily to Ghana. And as far as all of us have, we will all grow. There will come to a point where we would have to start working to end. And there is a challenge of how the mindsets are done. And I'm happy that I see now curriculums are being changed and they are putting entrepreneurship as courses, which means that we are going to change and twist the thoughts of our people. Mm -hmm. But not all of us who want to be entrepreneurs and some of us who want to be salary earners. Mm -hmm. So there would be a point where... And some can be salary earners and entrepreneurs. And entrepreneurs. Like but I know some people who are like that. Uh, yeah, I mm. think you know, you do know them. Mm. But I, I, uh, this guy is trying to put me into an auditor. <laughs> I'm a cold lady. Okay. And obviously a cold lady. Oh, but I'm not even talking about you. Listen, no, uh, uh, you and I, we understand this language. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, so I, I think that we, we that, 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 that there is a limit to what governments can do. Mm. There's a limit to employment. There is a limit to how many people government can rule on. But I think that, like, the interventions that government keeps proving, yeah. we should rather have a proper long-term short-term analysis of the old we have done what weaknesses came out of it before even we bring a new one because mm. if you check how these old things come and sometimes it's very painful when you see like this 100 and something completing school and you see they have nowhere to go and unfortunately these are serious educated people who could cause mess if left on the streets and these people are dropped on the streets with no plan until NAPCO came and how many people could NAPCO take. Mm. So there must be a conscious effort of government's part to make sure, and I, when I talk of government, I don't mean the MPP or the NDC government, mm. but a, 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 state, a plan. state plan to mm. say that this is our long-term developmental goal towards getting our people in, stopping brain drain movement, just to make us understand that this is where the person must be. And I think consciously we should rather use our social media wisely. Because mm -hmm. see, looking at some countries like South Africa and how much they make out of the social media space, why are we not doing the same? 
we can also make use of it because i know of young people who are on social media from morning till evening mm. and all they have done is rather to use data which is money which they don't have and they took from mommy daddy or someone else rather people could make money out of even advertising because mm -hmm. a lot of the time if all somebody is doing is to maybe pull eib every day and say like I'm, i want to still promote eib in another way come here negotiate for eib and cc i may not have a lot to give you guys but i have friends we can always be part of your viewers and listenership so give us this thing let's run maybe eib can find a plan and say okay can you get us maybe some groups to also bring in some marketing thing mm. so we share all these things generate and people have done this thing over and over again and yeah. i think it would rather help us because if you want to rely on government i'm sorry there is little government can do ghana needs to think through a plan we need to keep things and to really cap this unemployment i think one of the first things we have to do is to find a strategy of being able to work on our network system and social media because you see if we cut the time we spend on social media maybe some of us will get better jobs no joke if we because cut down on the, uh, the amount of time we spend on social media yes we will not cut down and get better jobs yes. because hmm. see a lot of us and i get worried now nigeria has done it recently on twitter when nigeria realized that their strength working force was on twitter the period that they work well which is between the eight to five they said no more twitter we are looking at it from the security point of view the economic point of view because economy is security and if people are broke people are hungry mm. they get on the street if people are satisfied you would hardly hear a very rich person screaming mm. not because they don't know how to scream but, uh, but, uh, but the twitter ban happened at the hilt of the nsas matter no but the nsas matter mm -hmm came out of something yeah and it was so economic and every security problem comes out of economic mm -hmm. and when you check the places these things were happening it was where the places where the economic issues were messy mm -hmm. and when it happened like that and they decided to if you check the rating of nigeria in terms of even the youth and involvement in nation development it's changed mm -hmm. perceptions change and these indexes are just perception points so if the young person in ghana is saying that see i'm not going to waste my time if i want to go on twitter i'm going to do something more important and if i'm going on twitter i'm going to do a promotion that can give me back some money we'll be there because there are people who are making lots of money now why is everybody blogging mm -hmm. to make money yeah the only bad thing about it is that in Ghana we take only the negative stories and because that is what they claim sells and I don't know when it started selling mm. and that's what they said but then again there are still people who are still doing positive stuff with this social media doing career services doing things that are still making people access I saw one young man who picks things like for instance let's say every agency what we do and contacts you can easily get and mm. the person was working on Twitter and all the person does is that in a day he picks let's say national services so and so and so, and so all the contacts we can easily get whatever info contacts and put it out there if this guy generates it into something else i would have to be paying to be able to access it and mm -hmm. one day i'll ask him to be the one picking the data for me and that is money so we just have to maybe holistically look at it from the perspective now that there is a twitter office here there is a google office here microsoft they would have to help us to use what digitization has come to mm -hmm. give us if not i think that their social corporate responsibility is not really fulfilling for us as a nation mm. because i don't know what i had gained from google ever since they came here but i keep going to google and the google has become our friend so our friend should at least give us something and i think they should broaden their horizon and find a way of putting more of our youth into this whole digital space to make them understand boom play is now on which i see boom play all over but yes. this, i remember when they started mm -hmm. like some three years ago mm -hmm. they were nobody knew of them mm -hmm. but today People are watching the Big Brother Africa. You see, boom, play. Yeah. It's played. Yes. Why? It started from a point, and it's going to get to that point. We get better. But you and I would have to find a way of letting them. Ah, on you, then. Mm. Fix the country. What do you say? Fix the country. I believe in fix the country. You do? I believe that a country must be fixed no mm. matter how, no matter what. That is why I'm doing my quota at National Service to make sure I digitize processes and make sure that the country is fixed properly. Mm -hmm. The president is doing his bit to make sure he brings interventions. I think as an individual, as gifty, as Francis, mm -hmm. you also got to be disciplined because they can't fix all of it. I, I get angry every day walking on the street and driving. And you see young men, especially young men, 
pulled out from the azifs and all they're doing is just watering the flowers we have around the streets. You mean urinating on our streets? Yes, and when they are done with it, they say the countries will be fixed. I see people throw things out of cars out there and then mm. they get choked into our gutters and we are keeping fixing it. Mm. I think that the government has to do their quota. And like I said, I want us to move away from the little partisanship right after election. Maybe there should be a proper band that says between any year, second to third year mm -hmm. of the of after an election, no politics. And then we can be able to manage a system, manage it as a country. And when we are done with it, we go back into our political mood in mm. the last year to run. Then we can be able to fix it proper. And then people should stop the impression of, because I am NPP, anything in DC is bad. Because you are NDC, anything in NPP is bad. I think that is the problem of the country. Mm. If we don't move away from this one and understand that the country needs to be fixed, not for anybody, but for my son, for your son, mm -hmm. who has to own this country because this is all they have. I have a son who believes that one day Ghana will get better. But if Ghana is going to get better and my son's teacher is teaching him that Ghana is not good, how would this young man, out of the 10 slots in the A class, maybe may have five of them who think that let's just add up to the mess. So we need to reorient them and begin to teach them mm -hmm. that, see, this is the country you have. This is all you have to succeed on. And then you have to get it better. And then we can fix it. For me, when they were on the streets, I love it because I love demonstrations. I have even taken the police to court because of demonstrations before. Mm -hmm. and I, saw, I was so glad they would rather use the energy into that one, which is more of a dialogue than to say that we are fighting, we are cracking heads because that is not the way to go. We should just dialogue as teams. They should, we should be meeting ourselves as youth. I don't know, however, whichever platform we can create ourselves mm -hmm. to be having those conversations. Now, I saw on clubhouses when even I saw people discuss these things and how we as young people can meet to help each other. And I saw someone like Nanaba put up to say, okay, if you are a celebrity, blah, 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 it won't help. Let me know. I'll fix this thing for you. Mm -hmm. I'll do this. These are the ways we can use to r raise each other. And then we can achieve something. That one, I can gladly say it is a fixing it than to say, hey, fix it and then scream to someone and say, change constitution. What part of your constitution? You don't think constitution should be changed? No part of it should be touched? We, 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 we only abridge things that we've seen errors on. Mm -hmm. This is so indemnity thing people keep talking about. Which year does even indemnity start? For crying out loud, which year? This indemnity story, we've even outlived the fact that at this point, right from some were even from the Rollins regime. Mm -hmm. We've not even signed their forums before. Mm -hmm. So what are we saying? There are things that are in the constitution that are not being touched. Must we take it off? Taking it off also becomes a nuisance. Because really, if, my brother, if we are not having these issues managed well, we'll get to a point where very soon you and I will be here and someone will tell us that when you meet Gifty, change your dresses with me because this is what they think. People have assumptions, they have fantasies. But we cannot rule a nation on the fantasies of others. You rule a nation based on logic and reasoning. Mm. You rule a nation based on not what everybody wants. That is why I wanted MPP, somebody wanted NDC. Some wanted CPP. Somebody even said he was going to vote for the also for Chabo mm -hmm. They didn't care about whether he was getting one vote or two votes. Mm -hmm. It was the person's right. But to what extent can a right be used when you are not even giving back to the same right you are seeking for? So people are just taking the right on their shelf. They are not even giving a single responsibility mm. out to the nation. So how mm. do we get it? Some people are in this country just to think that, okay, I have a space. You are on radio, you are on TV, and then there is more space to me. I have a verified account. Let me just shoot it. But then after you are done shooting, like I said when we are beginning, do you care about the replication? Do you care about what the consequences are? So we should be positive change because that's what we need as a nation. Mm. And Ghana, to tell you what, Francis, in Africa, if Ghana would not appreciate what we have, it's only when you lose it. I have gone to countries who have had wars before, countries who have had no peace, even straight even to Nigeria. Mm. If you've ever gone to Port Harcourt and seen how people who are supposed to be rich because there is oil and you step in the oil, but these people are suffering. Then you appreciate that in Ghana, where I could sit on TV or radio with any of the other political opponents, and we we are done, and we can sit at Afrikiko and maybe take a juice, is better than to think that me screaming to say there should be an end to some regime because I don't believe it is right. I, I beg to differ. Okay, okay, Gifty, we could we could be at this the whole day, but let's end on a football note, shall we? Because you are in that space. Yes. Yeah. Um, 
How's Berry Ladies doing? Ha, huh, Berry Ladies, they are, I, 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 they, they are doing well. They're doing well. They're doing well. Yeah. Okay. What's I've the had, plan? I've had, I've had some few stuff, so I've been, I've been like some three ma three weeks off them. Mm. But I think they, I know, I know they are, they are camping somewhere in Eastern region mm -hmm. on preseason, preparing to start the season well, and uh, this has just been a point of they are having collaboration with some few clubs both in Europe and I think in the UAE and seeing how best we can get them. We got some of our girls going out of the country mm. to Europe to play and even I think Coca-Cola also had some collaborations with us and took some of them also on some, I think, three months mm. trip. And uh, we hoping that maybe along the, the next era we are able to get what we want and get more of our girls playing in the national team because mm. we, we we've done well as a team that came and like as a newbie we were able to make a lot of impact and then we were able to raise even the viewership on social media for the premier league mm -hmm. which is the women's premier league which was not really had a lot yeah to that extent and to me it, i think it was that was our success as a team and they keep they keep doing it well and then i'm happy about our coach with Messi Tego, who mm -hmm. is also playing, who is the coach of the Black Queens, I know they will be playing in Nigeria very soon. I wish them well, mm. and then we think this year they will do better. They'll do better. Yeah. Black stars. Black What's stars. wrong with it? Black stars. Black yeah. stars. There is really nothing wrong with it. Teams don't always get it right. Teams sometimes make mistakes. Mm. I think that it's just a point of we have a technical director who should be able to watch. Is he doing a good job? Are Are you seeing clearly what the vision is for the Black Star? From the coach and management perspective? From management perspective, yes. From the coach perspective, I think the coach just he needed he needs time. You cannot He's been on for more than a year. Yeah, but he, you see if we still can't see what he wants to do, what but, are you saying? But but really he's he's promised to take us to the African Cup and also to take us to the World Cup. But I but see, give to you drive. If somebody drives badly and you're sitting next to him, you know. Yes, but sometimes I have I've met someone who drives very bad, but the person took me to where I was going. One of them too was very nice on the road before I knew somebody rather hit his back. So your point on this one with the black star saying CK Apama is what? I am not for or against CK. I think you are in the middle. Yes, you I, are I, indifferent. I, 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 I'm indifferent because sometimes Ghanaians we talk too much, but mm. most of us have not played. Okay. I have seen Messi be on the field and like I'm like. <laughs> So didn't Mercy know that she's supposed to just have dropped this girl and put okay. her? And when she was done and I asked her, she gave me reasons. And I was amazed. When I sat down quietly and took myself off the team mm. and stopped the money I'm putting in, which would make me move around and said, okay, this was what she meant. It made a lot of sense to her. But to me, it didn't make any sense. Mm. And many other friends of mine. So you're saying we should leave him alone. Let's you know, see how it makes sense. Let, let, let him play his next match. Let's see how he manages it. Let's see the errors he'll bring. Maybe from there we can make a decision on him. But now, because we, we, we are the same people who screamed on Kwesi Apia mm. and wanted Kwesi Apia out. Yes. Kwesi Apia is out. Yes. Now we have a new CK. Yes. Maybe the next person we should bring is the Hass. Chelsea so have been screaming about managers. They suck them, they get results. Uh, but they get results for a while and then it drifts again. And then they As suck and do again. Is, oh, Asna has always been on the top four. And I like that one rather to be. I want to be in the top four. Oh, but, but we should be winning things, no? Not not be in in the round. It's, 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 it's always not about. I I so being a football administrator, I have come to the realization that it's always not about the lead. It's about being able to be relevant when it comes to the space of sports. But Black Stars, the ultimate has been to win. But Black Stars is to going compete. to win it. I, th I think they're going yeah. to because they they have a very GFA has a good ESCO team. They have a good president who should know better. Mm. And I think because he's been a football player for a very long time, mm. he sold players, he sold even players to Chelsea, and mm. he understands what it takes to get them there. I think they should just get back on the drawing table and work something out. That's what I think. Okay. Because me being a member of the, how do you call it, the Black Maidens mm. Management, that's what we have been trying to do every time that you scout them young and then we progress them so black it's a con it should be a conscious effort where we get a lot of these young guys to put them together so they can play more and okay. then they can get a better team okay too. Gita, i thank you for your time this morning uh it's been an hour and 15 minutes of this conversation wow. yeah Interesting. you didn't realize but that's true um Makasapa. but as i let you go <laughs> do you ever mm. in your life want to be the president of the republic of ghana no why not it's stressful 
I think I think I would want to serve. I am rather I I see myself more of a kingmaker, where I would rather want to become a godmother at a very tender age, because mm. I'm really still young. People get surprised. When Are you a godmother yet? I became long ago. I became long ago. Okay. And I so you, so you've been a so many supposed people who are even ministers who are still my godsons and goddaughters. I see. Yeah, because okay. been, I, I, I just realized I've been in politics for 11 years. 11 years now. Yes, out okay. of my 35, yeah. So I've been in it for a while. Mm. And now this is what happens. I think that I rather want to be a kinmaker and help shape because every day all these schools I'm doing, all these courses I'm diverting from election courses to security courses to management to this is to help someone shape thoughts and then the dream i have mm. sitting back i would see it's better than being the driver okay. and that is really what i want to do so the so so, I, so you want to be the car owner than the driver i would rather want to become maybe part of the car owner pool okay. and not the extreme car owner but what is the extreme car owner yeah, you see, I like the extreme <laughs> word because you see, it gives, it gives absoluteness. And I don't so, a party chairman? No, 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 never thought of that. Mm. Maybe one day an administrator of the party, yes. Okay. So, okay. maybe become a maybe a general secretary of the party. General sure. secretary. Just to see, because I love to see administratively things do better. Mm. And the first thing, if you ask anybody at national service, that's what they would, I think that is what they would say. Mm. That I want to see the thing work, but then I want to see it in a a team mode where okay. everybody feels part of it i hate to see people just tangle out and say oh they've just left it to us and then we all work it out but then i want to be in the team i love to be the one being the olivia pope of the system mm. check the boss ah olivia but not, pope. Yeah, okay. but not to go and say i'm the boss no that is why i told you the last time that i rather want to remain deputy executive director mm. general service which is a very huge position okay and everybody's strength is that to be the ed himself because when Herself. you're the ed himself is very lonely because that one who takes care of your back mm. so th th there are there are good and bad to it but i think that i work very well when i am able to see clearly sit down and see that this is where we are heading and this is where we should okay gives you thank you for your time welcome let me pick calls yeah let, let me let me pick, pick calls a, a couple of calls yeah hey, zero three zero two two three one four four zero three zero two three one four five and then we'll call it a morning zero three zero two two three one one four four zero three zero two two three one one four five This is Jerry. Jerry, let's hear you. Francis, I have listened to the woman, right? And I see so much potential in her. Francis, this is the sort of people who live in leadership. No matter.